Hello Wolfpack, today we're going to be looking at Bitcoin and this will be the last update I'm going to be making until that interest rates decision is released um, tomorrow. Uh, and so we're looking at around 14 hours from the time of this video being created, 5 a.m. here, uh, my time, uh, maybe 4 a.m., not sure, something like that. Uh, I know that in the US it's going to be something like 2 p.m. Uh, and so just type it up, it's on Google. Very straightforward there. 14 hours from time, this video is going to be released roughly. Um, and, and that interest rate decision is going to have absolutely detrimental impacts on the market. It's already happening, right? It's already happening. We look at the hourly chart right now. Um, and I was on a phone call with fellow analyst, uh, Mega Whale. He was in a trade there on Gala. And we just watched this thing absolutely pump out of nowhere. I mean, this happened in like five minutes, right? If we go to the five minute chart, look at that absolutely skyrocketed from 39k all the way to 41 41.5k for literally no reason there was no news behind it. it was nothing it's just manipulation and this is the volatility we've been expecting i've been warning you guys about this kind of stuff for almost three weeks probably more almost a month now i've been talking about this date uh and, and it's really not expected and you know, I've told you that, hey, and I've, literally for videos and videos and videos, I've been saying, hey, don't trust any pump or dump that happens until this decision is made because there's going to be a lot of volatility. And even after the decision's made, but maybe 12 hours after that, there's going to be a lot of irrational price action. We can do things that the market doesn't actually mean like we did just then. We could pump up and then we could dump. We can dump and then we can pump. Who knows what's going to happen, right? The, the simple fact of the situation is we do not know what is going to happen. Um, what we can say is that Generally speaking, if the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, that is long-term bearish for kind of every asset, right? Because when you see interest rates being raised, you have less purchasing power from the everyday citizen. When you have less purchasing power, businesses lose kind of revenue and then stock valuations go down. And we know that uh, Bitcoin is connected to traditional markets. When traditional markets are down, Bitcoin's generally down. Uh, and during a recession, right, which is likely, and even if it's not a recession, there's still going to be less purchasing power. Uh, during that period of time, something like a recession or, or even similar to a recession, generally what we see is people flocking into cash, right, as a safe haven. Um, and, and you know, the general public doesn't understand inflation, so so you know you can't you can't expect anything less. People flock into cash as a safe haven, and that pumps up the DXY. And as we know, the DXY is heavily reverse correlated to Bitcoin. So if the DXY pumps, and it's already pumping, it's already been doing this, right? This isn't a thing I'm I'm speculating on. This has happened, right? And we've been talking about this for like months. This has happened, we've broken out, the DXY is pumping currently. When interest rates are risen, generally speaking, over a longer period of time, I don't care about a day, I don't care about a week, I you know, care about months, I'm talking months and years, this thing generally trends upwards, and when this thing trends upwards on a longer time frame, Bitcoin trends downwards on a longer time frame. That's what we've seen so far. Now, will Bitcoin remain pegged to that kind of, uh, that kind of movement? Who knows? We don't know. We simply just cannot answer that question. There's no logic behind any answer I can give you there. But what I can say is that until proven otherwise, we have to be bearish. And that's why I'm bearish on Bitcoin right now, uh, heading into this interest rates decision. Uh, but I ultimately understand that it's very, 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 very uh, speculative. Um, but what I can be sure of is that short-term volatility is going to try and ruin as many people as possible. I mean, I was I was looking at this chart of Mega Whale, at the hourly chart here, and I said, as soon as this pump happened, I said, a lot of people are going to lose a bunch of money right now. And they did, right? It jumped straight back down. When you see irrational moves like this, I mean, it's just like what we saw over here on a, on a kind of shorter-term time scale. Irrational moves, not really caused by too much. They lead to nothing, and they generally dump back down. This is a warning for you guys, right? This is a warning. Please, 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 I'm begging you. Do not, if you don't understand how to manage your risk correctly, do not enter any trades right now in the next 24 hours. Don't. Just don't do it, right? Because if you don't know how to manage your risk correctly, if you don't know where to set the right stop losses, you're going to fail. You're going to lose a bunch of money. You're going to get trapped out. If we see Bitcoin radically move, say it goes from 39K to 43K or something ridiculous in 10 minutes, right? Don't enter that. Do not enter that. Wait for certainty because it's just going to do the same thing it did just then, right? Any short-term price action cannot be trusted in the next 24 hours, all right? That's just a simple reality of the situation. That's just what I've been saying for months. I'm not changing my tune. That's what I've said for, for a long, 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 long time. But just looking at Bitcoin right now, technically speaking, uh, and you guys are well aware of this, right? I'm, I'm, I, I promise the broken record sounding is going to come to an end because the decision is finally here now. Uh, but... You know, Bitcoin on on a out on the daily candle chart, um, really, you know, it, it looks pretty rough, uh, but it's hard to say what the next movement is. Like the TA itself is actually a bit debatable. I mean, 
First and foremost, it's not even certain as to whether this is an ascending wedge formation. I've got it as an ascending wedge formation. It could be seen as ascending channel formation. You know, a lot of people have it as ascending channel. I'd say it probably leans towards an ascending channel, uh, but you could say it's a symmetrical triangle. You could say it's an ascending triangle. You could say various things about Bitcoin right now. What you can say for certain uh, is that, well, we're on the verge of a bullish MACD cross. And generally speaking, when you're on the verge of a bullish MACD cross, it means high volatility is on the way, not necessarily to the upside, but if it crosses bullish, obviously that's great. But generally speaking, you know, if you see this kind of thing play out of the verge of a bullish MACD cross, you can see a sharp swing to the downside as well. And that's just acts as kind of like a fake out, which would, wouldn't be so unbelievable, you know, to see in, in such a time of high volatility. In fact, this is probably the perfect timing for it. We have a downtrend on uh, the RSI here, uh, clear resistance there. And we also have an uptrend on the RSI forming some sort of symmetrical triangle formation. You can see that quite clearly there. Uh, so symmetrical triangle on the RSI, that's indecision in there, not really clear decision on that. Uh, and then obviously bluish MACD cross indecision as to whether that's going to play out. On top of all of this, we've got a lot of resistance coming from three separate, these are the red dashed lines I'm talking about, three separate diagonal resistance lines at 42K. We've got 42K itself, which is acting as clear resistance, which we've seen historically act as resistance. And so that's a, that's a massive zone we're going to need a challenge. Uh, and, and, you know, we don't have to actually, we could just not test it. But if we get there, you know, it's going to need to be challenged. What did I say in the last two videos? You guys would remember. Well, I've said in the last two videos, Bitcoin will likely be testing 42K. It came all the way up to 39.7K, uh, sorry, 41.7K. Just 300 USD off that target. I would consider that a test. I don't think, I, I don't feel the need for it to go any higher right now. It could do it, who knows. But I think that that's probably the most I can give you there. Uh, but if we do get to that region, that's going to be a major zone of contention. And then even above that, just above it, we're seeing bull market support band and we're seeing the top of the kind of channel slash wedge and 45K. So basically how I'm seeing Bitcoin right now is unless it's able to get, get above 45.5K, anything's a scam. Unless it's able to drop below, say, 37, 37.8K, any drop is a scam. So we're in a range of very clear indecisiveness. We're below critical resistance, right? This critical resistance box here, this red rectangle has, has kind of neglected us, uh, sorry, not rejected us multiple times over the course of the entirety of 2021. Uh, and there's not really too much else you can say about Bitcoin. Now, what you can say about the longer term is that, well, Longer term, the trend is downwards. A four-year cycle suggests we bottomed out. We bottomed out in November 2022, or around that region. Hard to be precise, but around November 2022, uh, and that's due to all of this data here that you can take a look at in a second, and you can see the correlations between the colors here, and correlations between bottom to bottom, top to top, and then bottom to top, bottom to top. I'm not going to go through it now, but there is a clear correlation. The four-year cycle is very much in play, and the four-year cycle does suggest November is the bottom for Bitcoin. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, that's just the point of the video. It's just, well, 14 hours here, lots of stuff going on. Stay on the safer side. There's always going to be opportunities for trades to be made. If you're going to enter trades, and I'm, I'm not saying it's the worst thing to enter trades. I'm just saying the average Joe uh, shouldn't be entering trades right now. And that's not an insult. That's just what it is, right? If you're thinking of entering trades, make sure you're entering trades that are right on top of support so you can have a very tight stop loss, okay? Because this could easily flush out your portfolio very easily, that massive volatility coming up here. Um, and you know, I would be staying grounded um, and I would not be entering anything until this is all cleared up, if I was you personally. Now, I, I personally might, but if I was you, I would not be doing that. And, and you being me talking to the average investor, okay? Unless you're a full-time trader like me and you, and you dedicate basically your life to this kind of stuff, you know, then do what you want. You know, as long as you know how to manage your risk, you can do it. But the average trader, uh, you know, who's not willing to spend, you know, six hours staring at a chart in one session, you know, this is very risky right now. And I'd just be waiting and seeing what happens. But ultimately, lots of volatility coming up. 42.5K is for critical resistance. The critical support is around 37.6K. I'm expecting one of those to break. Uh, most likely uh, the, the bearish support to break. Most likely the bearish scenario will play out here on Bitcoin. That's my just that's just my, my vague prediction because I'm bearish in the market, as you guys know. Uh, but ultimately, I know that it's very hard to predict this kind of thing. Let's see what happens. Uh, if you want to know more about interest rates, please check out my video I did two days ago on interest rates. It explains everything explains what is an interest rate, explains what is a recession, what happens in a recession, what happens when interest rates rise, why does it affect Bitcoin, why does it affect stocks. Very interesting video uh, that, that kind of goes through, you know, not just my, my personal beliefs, but the objective realities, the facts about why interest rates rising is bearish for traditional markets and about the correlations between Bitcoin and traditional markets, okay? Very interesting video. You need to watch that. If you don't understand it fully, you need to watch that. Otherwise, you're just going in blind and gambling. But 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This is the last update I'll be doing until tomorrow here because there's not really too much to talk about other than be careful, really. I mean, that's what I've said this video, right? Uh, I might be doing a live stream tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.